Hello friends, myself Chirag. In this video, I am going to discuss about Kerberos version 4 message exchange topic of network security. First of all, I have discussed Kerberos version 4 message exchange scenario. There is one user, there is one application server or we can say it is the server. And the third one is the Kerberos server. Kerberos server includes authentication server and ticket granting server. So, user want to communicate with the server and try to access the services from the server. But server cannot provide the services to the user. So, before user will communicate with the authentication server, try itself authenticate and then access the services from the server. So, how it works? So, first of all, user go to the authentication server. Authentication server provide one ticket of the ticket granting server. So, user go to the ticket granting server so ticket granting server provide one ticket of the application server so user take that application server ticket go to the application server and application server provide the services from the server so this is the exactly kerberos version 4 message exchange scenario next how to kerberos version 4 message exchange here there is one client authentication server ticket granting server and v is the application server so client want to access the services from the application server so how can this message exchange will take place so first of all in first step client will go to the authentication server and request for the tgs ticket and send id tgs in second step authentication server will reply one encrypted message and uh, this encrypted message is encrypted using kc now you can see over here in this equation kc here kc is the key that is derived from the user's password so user can easily decrypt that message so whenever user or we can say client will decrypt that message so client will get kc tgs it means the session key for c and tgs so here's kc tgs is the one of the session key for the client and the ticket granting server so whenever client and ticket granting server will communicate so that communication is encrypted using the kc tgs key another thing added in this message is id tgs timestamp 2 lifetime 2 and ticket tgs now what is inside the ticket tgs so this is the ticket tgs ticket tgs is encrypted using the ktgs so what is ktgs ktgs is the key shared only by the authentication server and the tgs it means ticket granting server so client cannot decrypt that ticket so client that uh, accept ticket and uh, in third step it sent to the tgs so this first two step is the uh, dialogue exchange or we can say message exchange between the authentication server and client now in third step client will communicate with the tgs and send a request uh, for the server ticket now you can see over here uh, identity of the server is sent to the uh, client to tgs and ticket tgs so what is ticket tgs uh, here ticket tgs is decrypted by the ticket granting server because it is encrypted using the k tgs uh, KTGS means key shared only by the authentication server and the TGS server. Now, whenever uh, TGS will decrypt that message, first of all, uh, TGS will get the KC TGS. So, also client have KC TGS and KC TGS, it means session key for the client and TGS. Then, uh, identity of user C, then ADC. Here, ADC is the network address of the user C. ID TGS and TS2 and lifetime 2. Here TS2 it means timestamp whenever the ticket was generated and lifetime means uh, whenever you use the ticket within this lifetime. Also send authenticator C. Here authenticator C means it is encrypted using the KC TGS. It means uh, whenever client send uh, this message in third step, uh, first of all, TGS will decrypt the ticket TGS, then and then authenticator C will decrypt by the TGS. In fourth step, TGS will reply to the client. That message is encrypted using the KC TGS. Here KC TGS is the session key for the client and TGS server. So, whenever client decrypt that message, first of all, client will get the KCV. Here, KCV is the session key for the client and server. So, there is the session key for the client and server V. So, this is the KCV. And again, 
ID V is accepted by the client then timestamp 4 and ticket V. Here ticket V means it is encrypted using the KV key. So what is KV? Here KV is the key shared between the server and TGS. So this KV key is known by this server V and TGS server. So client cannot decrypt that ticket. So client accept that ticket and send to the server V. Now this is the third and fourth step. It is the uh, message exchange between the ticket granting server and the client. And uh, after fourth step, uh, client will get the ticket of server. And in fifth step, client will send a ticket to the server. So server will accept that ticket and decrypt that ticket. So whenever server try to decrypt that ticket using the KV key and first of all receive the KCV. Here authenticator C is also attached with the ticket V. It means server ticket. So whenever server decrypt that ticket, get that session key and after authenticator C is decrypted using that session key. Client is authenticated with the server using authenticator C. Now in sixth step, uh, server will reply to the client and send one encrypted message for the mutual authentication or check the session key is valid for both the users. So there is one message is sent and it is encrypted using the KCV key. Now you can see over here it is the KCV. So sixth step is the for simple mutual authentication. So after completion of that sixth step, uh, client will access the services from the server and all the messages are encrypted using the KCV session key. So this is third portion. It means fifth and sixth equation is the client and server authentication exchange to obtain the services from the server by the client. The explanation of these six steps is written in next three slides. In first slide, the communication between the client and authentication server. The explanation is given over here. You can read from this slide. So in second step, uh, communication between the client and ticket granting server is explained in this slide. So you can read from this slide. So in third step, uh, communication between the client and server is explained over here. You can read from these slides. The next is the Kerberos version 4.0 message exchange summary. Also you can understand the message exchange summary from this slide. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, share and comment. Subscribe my channel on YouTube Chirag Balodia. Press bell icon to get new video notification. Follow my blog eduresources1.blogspot.com. Thank you.